Now, in this report, it's clear the economy is on top of everybody's minds. However, there are some other standouts. Dana Hutchings now with more on some of the other concerns for people in the greater Victoria region in tonight's Checkpoint. Scott, we saw the cost of living was the top of the vital signs survey. Homelessness dropped a second for the first time in four years. In fact, it's dropped 23 percentage points. And the fact that the cost of living is such an issue doesn't surprise the CEO of the Victoria Foundation. That's the group that puts out the annual report. But I think if you fast forward now and look at what's happening in our economy and we're just, you know, volatility in the markets is a new norm and people are really standing back and are a bit cautious, but it's everything, you know, it's your housing costs, the rental costs, the food costs, everything in one. So that impacts all of us. And worries about the cost of living is having an impact on philanthropy and charitable, charitable organizations on the South Island are feeling it. The Vital Signs report looked at the United Way campaign results. It raised $6.4 million in 2010. That's down 300000 from 2009. The median amounts donated in the Greater Victoria residents who filed tax returns in 2009 was up slightly. $370 from $340 in 2008, but a number of people who were donating was down. 26.8% reported making donations, and that's down from 28.1% in 2008. And again, back to that, hmm, be a little bit, bit more cautious now. Look at what's happening in the market, and, you know, we, won't, we will still give, but not as frequently, or maybe not to that cause this year. So we're seeing a little bit of that too, and we hear it from the organizations. You see a lot more partnering of organizations and, you know, people trying to work together to encourage their donors, but it's not an easy time for the nonprofits. And that leads to our checkpoint question. Given the current economic climate, are you giving less to charities? And what are your other priorities? You can tweet us check underscore news on Facebook at facebook.com slash check news or checkpoint at checknews.ca on email. Scott, the high cost of living on the island and the volatile economy are definitely having an impact on charitable organizations here. So given the current economic climate, are you giving less to charity? And what are your other priorities? Here's what people had to say on the streets of Victoria. I just spend more time choosing where I spend the money, but you know, all the same, I uh, sort of always allocate a certain amount of our uh, budget to charity. They're even more important in a bad economy. It's harder for these organizations to raise money. We should not slack off. We should we should give generously in hard times. Yes, I would say that, but I also uh, do payroll deduction, and so that stayed the same over the years. I give to United Way through payroll deductions. No, actually more. Charity needs us. Money that I would have used maybe for giving tips to waitresses or for giving donations is not what it used to be. It's harder enough to survive with a family. We give annually, but we also, I've always been a big proponent of giving back to the community by volunteering my time in areas I'm passionate about. And here are some of your social media responses. Kayla Bart says, I cannot afford to give money to charities. If I do, it's the few pennies I get back from groceries. My money has to go towards my children, food, and a roof over our heads. My family is first. Kathleen Marshman says, I can't afford to give any more, trying to stay ahead of ever-mounting debt. And Tara Anson Ken Mayer says, we can't afford to give to charity, but we do. There's always someone out there worse off than us. We also donate hundreds of hours in volunteer work each year. And that seems to be the common theme in tonight's responses. People are giving in other ways, volunteering their time, giving donations from their businesses, and people are still trying to donate where they can. And that's tonight's Checkpoint.